Joseph Barron. How are you today, Joseph? Good. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Now, he is actually with Heartland Baptist Church, and you guys have an awesome event coming up, which is your biannual car clinic. Tell me a little bit more about it. Uh, it's a project that we had started a couple of years ago. And first, it was a test run one time to see how it would uh, affect the local community, the surrounding areas. Uh, and it turned into something a bit different for us. Uh, we decided to go ahead and do it twice a year. Um, for us, we know how hard it is to, to make it sometimes. And people just can't get their cars worked on. And the two important times of the year for us deal with getting through the winter time and then the school season and stuff. So that's kind of how it come about. All right. So kind of tell me, what, what is going to happen at this clinic? What can people expect from it? So with this particular one, we've got a few things that are new and, and different. Uh, from 9 to 11, we'll have Safe Kids out with the text dot to help okay. check uh, car seat safety, proper installation, things mm -hmm. of that nature. Uh, but for our purpose, um, we're going to start it off at about 8, 8.30 in the morning, shut it down about 2 or 3, uh, and I give ranges because that's how it works. Um, we'll check out somebody's car, give them a, a checklist and everything, so that way they can kind of see what all it may or may not need. We will do what we can do, uh, things that are of an emergency status, uh, oil changes, wiper blades, maybe cleaning up the headlights, the windows. Um, we even do some brake work and everything. Uh, just things that, you know, the car has to stop, mm -hmm. go, and be safe. Right. And that's one of the things we, we focus on. Now, this is free to anyone who is in need of these things, but of course it does take money to uh, buy the parts and the tools that are needed to do these. So you are also taking donations if someone is interested in, in giving some to you. Yes, ma'am, absolutely. So when people show up, we give a, a quick run over their car, see what's needed, present them what we can do. But at that point, we do have to make a parts run. Mm -hmm. So it can kind of be lengthy. However, if somebody knows pretty simply they need just an oil change, and if they want to bring the oil and the filter, we can have them in and out a lot faster. Or if they know they need, say, a set of brake pads, and they can acquire them, bring their own parts or make a, a few dollar donation. Or if they have nothing, we'll take it. All right. Now, you guys are also having a garage sale as well. Tell me more about that. Uh, well, I'm not as informed on that end of the deal, but uh, what I do know is that um, we're having it in the same time since we'll have people that'll uh, mm -hmm. get people away from the cars, so away from a danger zone, okay. so to speak, give them a chance to look around and then just draw some attention. But anything we do sell, proceeds from that will benefit us improving our playground area. Okay, that sounds great. Now, you guys have been doing this clinic for about three years now, right? Yes, ma'am. Have you been a part of it since the very beginning? I have, I have. Okay, and how... how uh, Tell me, how uh, do you feel whenever someone has their car taken care of? How does that feel to ha be able to help someone in that way? Well, uh, it's it's what I'm here for. I'll, I'll put it that way. Um, our second greatest command ever is to love our neighbors like ourselves. Uh, I'm in the construction business, but I've also been an auto technician mm -hmm. uh, certified by Honda at one point. And every vehicle I look at and touch, every home I work on and touch, I look at it as, is my family going to be in that or that it is my family? Would I put my family in that position? So when we can take care of a situation for a family, um, people just don't know sometimes when mm -hmm. they're in danger until it's too late and something right. happens. So when we can head things off at the pass and put people in a better position, that's what we're here for. Oh, that's amazing. I love that you guys are doing this. Now, once again, Heartland Baptist Church will be having their biannual car clinic on Saturday, October the 5th. That will begin at around 8.30 in the morning and go on until about 3 that afternoon. That is going to be at 2600 Chestnut Street. If you are in need of having some kind of repair to your car, uh, definitely go head on over and check them out. And if you're interested in just uh, helping out with this, you can also stop by to give donations as well. Well, Joseph, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you. Thank you for having yeah. us. I'll be right back after this break.